we're going to use a double number line to solve this percent problem. This problem says 20% of 50 is a number, and the students would know that this is the percent, this is the whole, and this is the part. And I would give them the scenario that you have $50 in your savings account. Your parents say if you do your chores, you can earn 20% of it. How much money do you get? And this kind of focuses them in is that in your savings account, it's the whole amount, what I'm going to get is the part of it. So in order to do a double number line, um, I actually use a single number line just with numbers on the top and the bottom. I just draw a number line and we always start out with zero and zero. My top is going to be my percent and in this case because I was talking about money, dollars would be on the bottom. And so then we'd always come over here to a hundred. And so what I know from this point is that 50 is the whole amount. So 50 is going to go with a hundred percent. And our target is to get to 20%. And since number lines are in order, I'm going to put 20% down here. And notice I put it on the top because it's percent. So I'm going to work to 20%. Some students might know that 100 divided by 5 makes 20. So 50 divided by 5 makes 10. And that would be your answer. A lot of students go right here to 50%. 10 divide, 100 divided by 2 is 50. 50 divided by 2 is 25. And then they like to jump to 10% and do 50 divided by 10, 50 divided by 5 makes 10, 25 divided by 5 makes 5, and then they would double it to 20, 10% plus 10% makes 20%, 5 plus 5 makes 10, and my answer would be $10. We're going to use a double number line to show you how to find the percent. This problem says what percent of 50 is 30? So we know that this is the percent Again, the of goes with the whole, the is is the part. And I would say you have $50 in your account, your parents gave you $30 of that, what percentage is it? So we're going to go ahead again and draw our double number line. We're going to put our zeros on our number line, and we're going to put our 100. And we're going to label, it's really important, the percents on the top. And again, since I'm talking about money, whatever the label is, is going to go on the bottom, number, whatever. So I know 50 is the whole amount, so 50 has to go with 100%. My target is to get to 30. In this case, though, it's not 30%, it's going to be $30. So I have to make 30 on the bottom, so I'm not going to put that in yet until I find it. So what I'm going to do first is, and this is what most students do, is they come here and they jump to the half. So they find 50% is $25. From here, I can see that my answer is going to be a little bit greater than 50% because I'm really close with 25. So there, I'm going to jump back to 10%. In order to get to 10%, I do 50 divided by 5 to get to 10. 25 divided by 5 makes 5. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, well, I could do a couple of things. I see right now 25 plus 5 makes 30, and I need 30 on the bottom because that's my target. Or I could go ahead and double and do some things until I get to 60. So we can double it. So 20% makes $10. I would add 20 plus 30, 20 plus 10 together to get 30. That would be 30%. And I would add the bottom together. 10 plus 5 makes 15. Then I could go to 40. I could do one of two things to get to 40. Double 20 makes 40. Double 10 makes 20. Or I could add the 30 and the 10 together. From here, I can see that 15 is half of 30, so double 30 makes 60. Double 15 makes 30, which was my target number right here, so that would be 60%. In this problem, we have our percent of, we, our whole amount is missing, and $40 is our part. So I would say to the students, your parents gave you $40 of whatever money was in your checking account or savings account. That was 20% of the money. So we can use a, a double number line again to represent this number sentence. We'll put our zeros on here, and we're going to go ahead and put our 100 here. And this is our percents, and this is our number and our dollars. We know that 20% is 40. So on my number line, I'm putting together 20% is 40. 20 percent is 40 the number. Our target is to get to 100 on the top. So I can go ahead and double which makes 40 and double the bottom which makes 80. So 40 percent of our money would be $80. Actually, yeah, $80. I'm going to go ahead and double again and get to 80. 
And notice how I'm putting my numbers in order on the number line because it is a number line, they have to be in order. Double 80 makes 160. If I double again, I'm past my 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and add together 80 plus 20 to get to my 100%. So 160 plus 40 makes 200. So I started out with $200 in my savings account.